In typical same old fashion, local manufacturers have always been eager in offering new goodies on the table by releasing new devices after new devices. And Oplus is definitely a member of the pack. The company did got pretty excited about their 360 innovation that they have already released 5 devices under that category in just the first half of the year. And only months after, Oplus is here again, not to release a smartphone with a back-to-back -back touch technology, but a device that is now packed with a new feature that the company said they have developed. Here we have the Oplus Ultra, a behemoth device with a large 5.5 inch display, a pretty obese 4000mAh battery, and the first device to pack Oplus's new Power Plus innovation. Is the Oplus Ultra unlike anybody else? Let's figure that out in our full review. The Oplus Ultra was given an almost all plastic treatment as for its material choice. Using plastic primarily in constructing this device is quite forgiving and really unsurprising considering the price you will be paying for this one. However, I can assure you that this thing doesn't look and feel anywhere cheap, as something you might expect on a device that was cooked using second-rate ingredients. The device fits surprisingly solid and industrial. It seems like everything is well stitched together. The back panel may be constructed with plastic, but still screams industrial build quality. The rear end is also painted in matte gray, which gives a fake impression of being a metal build. Having it tinted that way also prevents the exasperating fingerprint and dirt marks. The sides and edges of the device also retains that feeling as it comes as an extension of the back panel. It is also obviously large. For a smartphone with a 5.5 inch display, the Oplus Ultra falls under the phablet category. But despite being a bit ginormous, the device still feels comfortable to hold, or at least for a tall guy like me, which also has a large enough hands to fit this thing perfectly and use it ergonomically. The Ultra also fits decently in my pocket, although having it bulging is to be expected. Probably the deal breaker here is the crossed out removable back feature. Users do appreciate that companies give them rights in having to replace their battery instantly as they run out. However, you might find comfort to know that one of the highlights of this device is having an extra large battery capacity. What we're dealing here is a whopping 4000mAh battery. Whether how many hours you can play on the Oplus Ultra before it runs out of juice shall be reserved on the battery section later. But as for now, all I can say is, the battery module really does add up in the device's overall weight. The Oplus Ultra isn't disturbingly heavy, nor feels light as a feather. The device is comfortably hefty, which also contributes in achieving its industrious feel title. Taking a tour, we do have a large 5.5-inch IPS display on front, together with the 5-megapixel front-facing camera with flash, the earpiece, sensors, LED notification indicator, and the Android Lollipop-inspired capacitive buttons. But instead of assigning the first button to launch the recent apps tab, it is still fixed as a menu button, which can really be frustrating at times. Knowing that this device is running on Android Lollipop, I do expect that everything, especially these buttons, are working in accordance to how the software are intended them to. Anyhow, these annoying implementations can still be set right with a simple software update. The left side does the micro SD card slot, which is disappointingly capable of only 32GB of storage. The right side has the single slot for two SIM cards. And lastly, we have the flat yet very tactile volume buttons and lock and power switch. At the top, we do see all the ports for the 3.5mm headphone jack and the micro USB. The bottom only has the tiny hole for the built-in microphone. At the back, we see the 8MP primary camera with flash, the second microphone for noise cancellation, and the loudspeaker. It's nice to see that Oplus still gave importance to the audio section. The device can capture clean sound while sound recording or making calls. And the loudspeaker delivers a well-balanced sound with a decently loud volume. The Oplus Ultra utilizes a 5.5-inch IPS HD display with 1280 by 720 resolution and does 267 pixels per inch. Judging by the device's pixel count, it may clearly state that this isn't the sharpest of them all. This is due to its extra large size. The device's 720p resolution is a bit stretched out to fill up the 5.5-inch length. 
but being not too finicky about it. The display is still beautiful nonetheless. And besides, next to 720p is a 1080p display, which is impossible to pop on this device considering its affordable price tag. Colors look decently vibrant, although blacks aren't deep blacks. Text from websites and other reading materials still looks visible even when zoomed out while outdoor visibility is just middling, although it is still visible outdoors, but I have seen some competing devices who perform better. For the device's price tag, some compromises aren't really surprising. The Oplus Ultra may be compelling on other departments, but not on this part. Although the device uses almost the same chipset with other competing devices, but as per my time with it, overall usage shows a bit weak link processing performance. What we're talking here is a MediaTek 1.3GHz quad-core processor with 1GB of RAM and a Mali 400MP GPU. That said, almost everything feels bumpy on this one. Running through the home screen shows some hiccups. Browsing through the web or your favorite social media apps exhibit some stutters. And of course, playing games shows a lot of frame drops. Nenomark 2 gave it a score of only 50.4 frames per second. Even watching some high definition clips on YouTube still shows a number of lags. There are also stacks of occasional app crashes. Although, these tribulations aren't really the processor's fault per se. The Oplus Ultra is equipped with Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is known for its number of issues and bugs, inefficient RAM management, and random app ruling glitches are some of them. Also, the device's large 5.5-inch HD display may also be the one to blame on this predicament. The larger the display size is, the more processor demanding it becomes. As I have already spoiled it, yup, we do have Android 5.0 Lollipop on this one. Besides having the latest OS version, the device is also running on full-stack Android user interface, which is a standard on all O Plus devices. That having said, you can get your hands on all the perks and goodies that this software has. This includes the beautiful material design philosophy, utilitarian drop-down menu, and many more. Oplus may not have included custom UI on its devices, but that doesn't mean they haven't planted something in there that may improve the overall user experience. Doodle controls are here, which enables you to quick launch an app when the display is off. One hand feature is also present, which is the same implementation with assistive touch as seen on iOS devices. This feature isn't something very new. The company just adopted these features and reimagined it to give it their own personal touch. The Oplus Ultra uses an 8 megapixel sensor for its primary camera and a 5 megapixel for its front facing module. Both of these shooters came equipped with their own flashes. Yup, there's a front facing flash for your selfies. The 8 megapixel camera can perform and meet the standards that I'm expecting from it. Just like any other smartphone camera, you can fully utilize its potential when shooting outdoors or anywhere with good light source. Photos taken outside look very crisp and sharp, with the just right contrast and saturation. Micro shots are also possible with an impressive depth of field. Taking snaps indoors with a scarce of available light source, the Oplus Ultra can still produce imposing photo quality. Noise and grades are now more visible but still worth sharing on either Facebook or Instagram. Now we will proceed to probably the X factor of this device. The Opus Ultra can easily get attention because of its insanely large 4000mAh battery. Although the Opus Ultra is actually not the first device to carry this enormous battery capacity. But still, we don't see a lot of these devices out there, especially in the local market. I did try to push the device's battery to the limit, and my test showed really impressive results. Light to moderate usage lasted the device for up to a full 24 hours. This test consists of casual web browsing, social media surfing, and posting updates, and exchanging SMS from time to time. While screen on time lasted the device for a good 8 hours, that is playing a YouTube playlist which means being entirely connected to Wi-Fi with a screen brightness and loudspeaker volume set for about 50%. And let us not forget of course the new Power Plus feature. Switching on this feature does tone down the device's overall system. The display color will be changed to grayscale, screen brightness will be automatically reduced, the number of usable apps are limited, background apps are cleared, and antennas like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and data are turned off. 
The company promises that the O Plus Ultra can still stay up for hours even with only 15% left on battery juice. The results of my test may approve this. It took almost 2 hours before the battery decayer slash 3% as I only send SMS and make some few phone calls. O Plus's latest offering clearly did try its best to make itself look charming and interesting by attaining an unusual mix of traits and facets. The O Plus Ultra did excel and even busted the roof in some areas, but still flanked in some more important aspects. The device's large 5.5-inch display is bizarre for its price category, surprisingly sturdy build quality despite the choice of material, tip-top camera for its class with the selfie lovers on mind, and of course, a robust extra-large battery capacity. Although despite of it all, the O Plus Ultra did miss one of the most important components in any device, which is the processing performance. Despite all of its beauty, the O Plus Ultra can sometimes cause annoyance due to its sluggishness and random interface glitches. That having all said, I think the O Plus Ultra is for people who want a device that can fulfill their specific needs. I see this device being appreciated with people who are always out, people who always go around places at any given time. These people may want a device that can cope up with them. A device that can stay with them throughout their voyage without having to always hurdle in looking for power source as the juice runs out. If you think you're that person, you can get the O Plus Ultra at a cost of only 6,995 pesos. This has been Noy Pigik's full review of the O Plus Ultra. For a more detailed look about this device, you may check out the full written review link below. Make sure to also hit the thumbs up button and share this video if you liked it. And also subscribe if you still haven't. Thank you for watching.